On a crisp, cold December morning, four-year-old Caillou was asleep snug as a bug with Gilbert, his cat. Caillou's daddy was already outside shoveling snow, while Caillou's little sister Rosie and his mommy were in the kitchen preparing breakfast. Time to get up, Caillou. Here you go, Rexy. You can stay nice and warm. Gilbert, what are you doing? Wow! Daddy! Look at all the snow! Come on, Gilbert! Caillou was excited to see so much snow. He couldn't wait to go outside and play. But you haven't had your breakfast yet, Caillou. We'll go out together later, okay? Caillou was upset because he wanted to go outside right away. Okay, Daddy. Caillou! Rosie, eat your cereal, sweetheart. Good morning, Caillou. Hmm. Morning. Hmm. Did someone wake up on the wrong side of the bed this morning? Caillou wanted to come outside and help me shovel, but I told him he had to eat breakfast first. <laughs> well, someone's hungry. Why don't you feed Gilbert? Okay, Gilbert. I'll get your food. <laughs> Gilbert hungry. Gilbert, no! Get down! Come on, Rosie. Let's get you dressed. Here you go, partner. You'll need your energy to help me shovel all that snow. Oh. Caillou was hungry after all, and he was looking forward to helping Daddy outside. Look, Rosie, I'm a snowplow. <laughs> hey! I'm gonna get you! <laughs> Clementine! Hi, Caillou. Caillou was happy to see his friend Clementine. He had no idea she was coming over. And Caillou loved surprises. Hi, Rosie! Hi! <laughs> oh, how lovely! Come on in! I'm going to get you, Clementine. <laughs> Hi, Caillou. Hi, Clementine. Here, it's an invitation to my school's Christmas play. Wow, a Christmas play. Yes. I'll be there, too. My brother Billy is in the play. That means Santa is coming soon. Caillou knew that Christmas was coming soon, but he didn't quite know exactly when. Is Santa coming? Tonight, Sarah? Not that soon, Caillou. In two weeks. Two weeks? What will I do until then? I'm just a kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. I'm Caillou. There's big news today. Christmas is not far away. Santa, I'd like to say I'm Caillou.
Clementine had left, and Caillou was happy to come in from the cold. Did you have fun, sweetheart? Uh-huh. Don't forget to put your stuff away, please. Okay. I'm a snowplow. What are you doing, Mommy? I'm writing Christmas cards to our friends and family to wish them a Merry Christmas. Sarah says that Christmas is in two weeks. Is that a long time away? Well, let's see. Christmas is exactly 12 days away, which doesn't leave us much time to get everything done. Like what? Well, first send off these cards. Then we have to get a tree, decorate the house, and of course, there's the Santa Claus parade. Santa's in a parade? When? Mm, in a few days, I guess. Caillou was very excited at the thought of seeing Santa, but he was a little confused about how many days were left until Christmas. Can I draw something on your cards, Mommy? How would you like to make your own Christmas cards? Yes! <laughs> Silly cat. I'm gonna make a card for Mommy and Daddy and Rosie and Gilbert. Oh, and Sarah and Leo and Clementine. Hi, Caillou. Stop it, Rosie. You're stepping on my Christmas cards. Rosie, stop. What's wrong, Caillou? Rosie is stepping on all the cards that I'm giving my friends. Rosie, give two. Come on, Rosie. Let Caillou work, and we'll think of something else for you to give, okay? Oh, I almost forgot. Grandma and Grandpa. Caillou worked all afternoon on his Christmas cards. Here you go, Rosie. Do you want Mommy to help you make a present for Caillou? We could draw a picture together. But Rosie didn't want Mommy to help her. She wanted to be like her big brother and do something all by herself. Daddy, look at all the Christmas cards I made. Can we give them tomorrow? We usually mail Christmas cards, Caillou. But they need them before Christmas. Don't worry. Everyone will get their cards on time. Here, this Christmas calendar will help you keep track of how many days are left until Santa comes. See these windows? There are 12 of them, one for each day left until Christmas. I can count to 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good for you. Now, every night starting tonight, we'll open one window and discover a story behind it. I like stories. You'll like these stories a lot. Each window shows us how Christmas is celebrated differently all over the world. With a tree and presents and Santa? Well, that depends. Some children celebrate Christmas in different ways. Can I open a window? Sure. This one. It's stuck. Caillou didn't want to tear the calendar, so he opened it very carefully. He was anxious to see what was behind the little door. A Christmas tree! This is how Christmas was celebrated a long time ago in a country called Germany. Would you like to hear more about it? Yes! In a country far, far away, there lived a young boy, about your age, who loved going to work with his father. His name was Fritz, and his father was a lumberjack who cut down trees for a living. Fritz liked to watch the men do their work, and he knew that someday he would grow up to be a lumberjack just like his father. Fritz and his dad headed into the village to sell their trees. <laughs> Fritz noticed that the men didn't use the tiny little tree at the bottom of the sled, but Fritz suddenly had an idea how that little tree could be used. He thought the tree would look nice in his house at Christmas time. And Fritz loved the smell of trees better than anything else. Fritz's mother thought the tree could use a little decoration. And since that time, people in many parts of the world have brought an evergreen tree into their homes at Christmas time. I 
like the Christmas calendar, Daddy. Tomorrow night, we'll open another window. And now it's time for you to go to sleep. Good night, Caillou. Good night, Daddy. And Caillou fell asleep, dreaming about Germany and Fritz and Christmas trees. Caillou woke up in a big hurry the next morning. Can we get a Christmas tree today? Uh, good morning, Caillou. Um, good morning. So, can we get a tree? I think that's a great idea. Me too. I'll call a friend of mine and see if we can come by. What friend, Daddy? Go where? When? <laughs> You'll see. It's a surprise. Caillou loved surprises. But he really wanted to know who Daddy was calling and where they were going to get their Christmas tree. Who is Daddy calling? Can't tell. It's a surprise. All set. Let's finish breakfast, get dressed, and get going. Yay! Rosie is sure sleeping in late this morning. Gilbert? Gilbert hiding. Gilbert, where are you? <laughs> Silly cat. Caillou and his family left to go and get a Christmas tree. But Caillou still didn't know where they were going. Where are we going, Daddy? Yeah, where, Daddy? You'll find out soon. But all Caillou could see were trees on either side of the road. I know, we're going to Germany, right, Daddy? <laughs> no, Caillou. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Rosie, look! It's Jonah's farm! <laughs> Jonah, horsey! But Caillou was suddenly disappointed. He liked Jonah, but he thought they were going to get a Christmas tree today. But what about the tree, Daddy? That's why we're here. Jonah has a Christmas tree farm. Oh! <laughs> Welcome back, Caillou! <laughs> The place looks beautiful in the wintertime, Jonah. Thanks. <laughs> it's our busiest time of year, what with the Christmas tree farm and all. What's a tree farm, Jonah? You know that at Christmas time, a lot of people like a tree to put in their house to decorate. So I grow trees just for that purpose. Kind of like a tree garden? Exactly. <laughs> I think someone over there would love to take you all for a sleigh ride to the tree farm. Ginger! Blackie! <laughs> Here you go, Caillou. Do you remember how to feed them? Gentle. Good boy, Blackie. I think he remembers you, Caillou. Can we go to the tree farm now, Jonah? Absolutely. But first, we need a blanket to keep us warm on the sleigh ride. Could you do me a favor and get the big red blanket from inside the barn, Caillou? Yes. <laughs> Caillou was startled by the noise. <laughs> Hello, Horsey. You're my size. I have to go now. We're going on a sleigh ride. Bye, Horsey. Here, Jonah. There's a little horse in the barn. Yes, there is. That's our new colt. Colt? Yes, that's what we call a baby horse. Maybe you can come back in the spring to see how much she's grown. Oh, boy. Sure. Is everybody ready? Yes! Yeah. Then here we go! Yeah! And they all headed off to find a Christmas tree. Look at all the Christmas trees, Rosie! Whoa, Blackie! Whoa, Ginger! Did you enjoy the ride? Yeah! yeah! Christmas trees everywhere! <laughs> Choose any tree you like. Okay. Come on, Rosie. There were so many trees. Caillou didn't know how they were going to pick one. Rosie, are you hiding? <laughs> I know where you're hiding. Behind that tree. I see you. You hide, Caillou. Okay. 
Caillou and Rosie thought the Christmas tree forest was a great place to play hide and seek. Caillou! Caillou? Caillou didn't want Rosie to find him, so he stayed very quiet. But suddenly, Caillou felt alone, and he didn't want to play anymore. Caillou didn't like being all by himself. Rosie? Mommy? Daddy? There you are, Caillou. Did you find a tree you like? These trees are big and scary. Well, why don't we go over to another row where there are smaller trees, more your size? The Christmas trees are in a field. One will grow the tallest. The tree that doesn't get sunlight will end up the smallest. Now there is one special tree, small and bent and hard to see. As tiny as a tree can be, that's different, you'll agree. Bent and tiny Christmas tree, pretty as a tree can be. Bent and tiny Christmas tree, the perfect tree for me. Now, Caillou, see how each tree is different, just like you and me. For some trees, it is better to grow up straight and tall. But sometimes strong winds blow, then it's better to be small. Tall is good, and so is small. Trees have different lengths. Whatever size, it doesn't matter. Each has different strengths. Bent and tiny Christmas tree, Pretty as a tree can be. Bent and tiny Christmas tree, the perfect tree for me. The perfect tree for me! I really like this tree, Mommy. Really? But it's so small and it has a big bend in it. Why did you pick this one? Because it's just like the tree in Daddy's story. You're right. What do you think, Rosie? Well, that Yay! settles it. Caillou was proud to have picked the Christmas tree and wanted to be sure it was in the best spot in the living room. Can we put the tree in the middle of the room, Daddy? It would be a better idea if we put it in a corner, Caillou. Okay. Over there. No, wait. That corner would be better. No, um, maybe over there. What? <gasps> Perfect. Whoa! Gilbert! Caillou was very happy with how his tree looked, and he knew exactly what it needed to become a real Christmas tree. That evening, Caillou had a brilliant idea. He wanted to make a special star to put on top of his very own special tree. Meanwhile, Rosie had a few ideas of her own. Rosie made a present for Gilbert, all by herself. That's wonderful, Rosie. Oh, you're such a big girl now. <laughs> Daddy funny. Yes, Daddy's funny. What are you doing with the wrapping paper? Rosie, big girl now. Gilbert, cut that out. Shoo! Go away! <laughs> <laughs> Are you all right? <laughs> Daddy's very funny. Now, could you please help me up? Could we help you decorate the tree, Daddy? I think that's a great idea, Caillou. Rosie? Wesley. Here you go. Why don't you two help me finish decorating the tree? Mine! Mommy gave this one to me. Caillou saw how upset Rosie was, so he decided to let her have the ornament. Here, Rosie. You can have it. That was very nice of you, Caillou. Christmas is a time of giving and of sharing, and you did a very good job of sharing with Rosie. Can I put my star up now? That's a great idea. Let's see that star of yours, Caillou. <laughs> What's so funny? Daddy, funny. <laughs> and 
And now the lights. Wait, I want the room dark. Ready? Ah. Oh. The tree doesn't look little anymore. It looks great. It's the best tree we've ever had. Caillou and his family all loved their Christmas tree. Now it felt like Christmas in their home. When Caillou got to bed, he was very tired. Did you have fun today? Yes. And now, I can't wait till Santa puts all my presents under the tree. Christmas is about more than just getting presents from Santa. Really? Like what? Christmas is a time for giving, especially to those who aren't as fortunate as we are. What does fortunate mean, Mommy? We are very fortunate because we have a beautiful home and we always have plenty to eat. And you're very fortunate to have all these toys. But I don't play with all of them. I have an idea. Why don't you gather up the toys that you don't play with and tomorrow we'll make sure they go to children who will enjoy them as much as you once did. Now I think it's time to open another Christmas calendar window. Yay! Let's see, there's 11 windows, so if you open one, how many windows are left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right. Tomorrow, there will be ten more days until Christmas. Let's see what we have. What is it, Mommy? This is how children in a country called Mexico celebrate Christmas. Would you like to hear what they do? Yes, yes! Several days before Christmas, Mexican children have a parade. They dress up as shepherds and as angels. And a young girl dressed as Mary rides a donkey. A little boy dressed as Joseph leads the way. Following them are three children dressed up as the wise kings. They dress up to tell the story of Christmas. Did you know that in Mexico they speak Spanish? Spanish? It's a beautiful language. Do you want to know how to say Merry Christmas in Spanish? Yes. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Caillou liked learning new words, and he liked how Merry Christmas sounded in Spanish. Feliz Navidad. I wish I could be in a parade too. Good night, Caillou. Sleep tight. And don't let the bed bugs bite. When Caillou woke up, he remembered the idea of giving away some toys he didn't play with anymore. Come on, Rexy. We have some work to do. See, Rexy, I don't play with these toys anymore the way I play with you. What are you doing? I'm giving these toys away. Rexy? <laughs> no, silly. Not Rexy. These toys that I don't play with anymore. I'm giving them to kids who don't have as many toys as me and you. No, Ducky. No, Rosie. These are for kids who aren't as fortunate as us. But Rosie like Ducky. Okay, you can keep Ducky. Look, Mommy. These are the toys I picked to give away. Good for you, Caillou. They're going to make lovely presents. How about some breakfast? You must be hungry after all that hard work. Rosie didn't quite understand about giving and sharing, but she wanted to make Caillou happy. So she decided to wrap up Rexy and give him to Caillou as a surprise Christmas present. See, Rosie? I'm packing all the things I'm giving away. Oh, I forgot something. <laughs> Rosie wanted to give away some things, too. Give away? Give away? But she didn't quite understand what to give away. <laughs> Mommy and Caillou were going to the place where Caillou's toys would be given away. But Caillou didn't know exactly where it was. Where are we going, Mommy? Here's a clue. What's big and red and... Santa Claus! <laughs> yes, but what's big and red and has a loud siren? I know! A fire truck! 
Exactly. And where do we find fire trucks? In a fire station. You got it. At Christmas time, some firemen collect toys and give them away to children as presents. Like Santa. How you really like the great big fire trucks. The firemen had used them to rescue Gilbert from a tree. Here. Let me help you. Thank you. Hi, Caillou. It's nice to see you again. Hi. Are these toys that you're giving away? Uh-huh. Well, that's very generous of you, Caillou. Sparky! Sparky was very happy to see Caillou again, too. <laughs> <laughs> I taught Sparky a new trick, Caillou. Want to see? Give the paw, Sparky. Good boy. Do you want to try? Okay. Sparky, give the paw. <laughs> Good boy, Sparky. <laughs> Let's go take a look at what's in this big box of yours. Stacy, we have some more items. Hi, Caillou. What are you doing? I'm fixing up some toys to make them good as new again. Wow! Now, let's see what you've brought. Huh? How did that get in there? <laughs> this is a strange toy. And there's more. I know! Rosie put them there! <laughs> Rosie probably saw you giving things away and wanted to add a few things of her own. Now this is better. Let me see. Hmm. I have just the thing to fix it. Do you want to help me, Caillou? Wow! Look at all the wheels! Let's see. I think this one will be a perfect fit. Can you hold the truck for me? There. Is it all right? It's just like new. Great. Why don't you bring it over so I can wrap it? Is something wrong? Now that Caillou's truck was working again, he wasn't sure he still wanted to give it away. Caillou, you're going to make a little boy very happy when he gets to play with your truck. Caillou thought about it and decided that it would make him happy to give his truck to someone else for Christmas. Here, can I help you wrap it? You sure can. This truck is going to make someone very happy this Christmas, and it's all thanks to you, Caillou. That night, Caillou was in a big hurry to get to bed. Rexy, Rexy, Daddy's going to tell us another Christmas story. Rexy? Oh, it's you, Teddy. I was looking for Rexy. Ready for another calendar story? <laughs> yes. Let's see how many windows are left. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Right. So we open one tonight, and tomorrow there will be nine days left till Christmas. It looks like a classroom. You're right. This takes place a long time ago in a country called England. The children are at school, and they're writing letters to their families. The parents thought the letters were so beautifully decorated, they decided to send holiday greetings to their friends and families, too. Soon, People all around the world were sending beautifully decorated holiday cards to each other. That's when Christmas cards started. That's right. And now, bedtime. Sweet dreams, Caillou. Good night, Daddy. When Caillou woke up, he remembered his Christmas cards and wanted to mail them right away. Hi, Mommy. Hi, Rosie. Can we mail my Christmas cards today? Hi, Caillou. Sure. Can I see them? Clementine and Sarah and Jason and Jeffrey. Hmm. Oh, I think you forgot someone. Who? How about a letter for Santa? Santa! Yay, Santa! Caillou decided to draw a picture of all the toys he wanted Santa to bring him this year. Ooh. What's that, Rosie? Horsey. What's that? A space station. Is that what you want Santa to bring you? 
Yes, and a new truck, and new skates, and a baseball, and a soccer ball, and a football, and a... Whoa, don't you think that's an awful lot? All that Caillou just to please you, don't you think it is too much? No, no, Mommy, there are more toys. Santa should bring me in a rush. Santa, bring me, always Mimi. Are you just my Mimi boy? But I want a fire engine. I like getting lots of toys. You like getting lots of toys. What about giving? What about caring? What about sharing? Christmas is for everyone. A telescope, a deck of cards, a basket for my bike. A soccer ball, a dinosaur. Lots of toys is what I like. Lots of toys is what you like. What about giving? What about caring? Whoa. What about sharing? Christmas is for everyone. But, 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 I, I, me, me, I, I, but, but, me, me, me. Maybe, Caillou, you can try not to be a Mimi boy. Okay, Mommy, I will try to share more of my gifts and toys. You will see it's lots of fun to share some of our Christmas joy. Now I'm not a Mimi boy. Okay, what I really want is a space station. Can we mail it to Santa now? Yes. But I have to get some stamps at the post office first. Want to come? Sure. So Caillou and Mommy got more stamps for their Christmas cards at the post office. Okay, Caillou. Drop them in. Good morning. How are you today? Caillou and I were just mailing our Christmas cards. Do you take the letters to the North Pole? Not exactly. I pick up the mail in the boxes on my route. Then, I bring them back to the post office. Then, how does it get to the North Pole? Well, why don't you come inside and I can show you how the mail gets sorted at the post office. Can we, Mommy? Please? Of course. Let's go. All the mail gets sorted here and put into different piles. Mail that is going far away is sent from here to other post offices all over the world. Do you use a sleigh and reindeer? <laughs> We're not as well equipped as Santa, but we have planes and trains and trucks. What's that big pile over there? Ah, that's a very special pile. Those are all the letters addressed to Santa Claus. Is my letter to Santa in that pile? It will be very soon, and we'll take extra care to make sure Santa gets it. Thank you. What's that? That's a conveyor. It helps us sort out all the mail into different piles. This is just like Santa's workshop. <laughs> Maybe we should let our mailman get back to work. Thank you. You're welcome. Merry Christmas, Mr. Mailman. Mom told me you got a tour of the post office today. Yes, and there was a big bin with a whole bunch of letters to Santa. Santa and his elves must be very busy these days. And you've been busy too. So come on, bedtime. Where is Rexy? He must be around somewhere. I'm sure you'll find him soon. Do you think Teddy would like to hear tonight's calendar story? Okay. So are you two ready to open another window? Yes. How many days left till Christmas? Let's count the closed windows. One, One two, two, three, three four, four, five, six, six seven, seven, eight, eight nine. nine. <laughs> we open another window tonight, and tomorrow there will be eight more days till Christmas. Okay, go ahead and open this one. Who's that, Daddy? That's St. Nicholas. Once, a long time ago, in a country called Turkey, there lived a good man called Nicholas. Nicholas felt sorry for a farmer and his family because they didn't have enough money for food. He was a very thoughtful and generous man, so he decided to give the young family a basket of food. The family never knew who had given them the wonderful present. And from that day on, Nicholas decided to leave a present for the family every year. St. Nick taught us the importance of being kind and thoughtful to others. I 
know how to be kind and thoughtful, Daddy. You sure do. You were very thoughtful when you gave your toys away. Good night, Caillou. Honey, have you seen my electric toothbrush? No. Have you seen my slippers? Another morning, and I can't forget it's not Christmas yet. Another morning, eight days to go. Christmas comes way too slow. Please, Christmas, hurry up and come. Waiting for you is no fun. Hooray! So much fun to play. Bedtime and we count the days. Christmas seems so far away. Another morning, seven days to go. Christmas comes way too slow. Please, Christmas, hurry up and come. Waiting for you is no fun. Hooray for the bargaining. Let's shout out and sing. Christmas seems so far away. Another morning, six days to go. Christmas comes way too slow. Please, Christmas, hurry up and come. Waiting for you is no fun. Hooray, I'm learning how to ski. Here I come, watch me. Bedtime and we count the days. Christmas seems so far Christmas seems so far away. When Caillou woke up the next morning, he remembered that Rexy was still missing and started searching for him. Caillou looked everywhere he could think of. But Rexy was nowhere to be found. Caillou? What are you doing? I can't find Rexy anywhere, Mommy. I'm sure he'll show up soon. But we have to get ready to go to the Santa Claus parade now. And you young men have to clean up the mess you've made. But... <laughs> no buts. Okay, Mommy. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Daddy, I can't see. <gasps> oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Look, Rosie, Majorettes. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Candy canes. Look, Santa's out. Too far. <laughs> We're in the parade. <laughs> Merry Christmas. That was fun. Oh, 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 oh. Look who's coming. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. Merry Christmas. Oh, oh, oh. Santa! Is Santa going back to the North Pole? Not yet. Remember, he wants to see if you've been a good boy. How? Well, I guess he'll ask you when we go to see him. We're going to see Santa! We're going to see Santa! We're going to see Santa! Hi, Caillou! Did you see the parade? Yes! And now I'm going to see Santa. Bye, Clementine. Okay, bye. Caillou! Caillou! Did you see the parade? Yeah, and I was in the parade with the elves. Wow! 
Do you want to come to my house tomorrow? We could play dinosaurs. Okay, see you tomorrow. <laughs> and what's your name? What is it, sweetheart? Bathroom. <laughs> Sorry, Santa. Your turn, Caillou. <laughs> and what's your name? Caillou. Have you been a good boy this year, Caillou? Yes. I even gave some of my toys away at the fire station. Well, that's wonderful. Giving is very important. And what would you like for Christmas, Caillou? A space station. But I already sent you a letter about that. Santa, I can't find my dinosaur, Rexy. <laughs> would you like Santa to bring you another dinosaur? No, there's only one, Rexy. Can you help me find him? If I see him when I come by your house, I'll put him under the tree. Okay? Thanks, Santa. Oh, and my sister Rosie wants a toy horsey. Okay, let's count the closed windows. One, two, three, four, five. That means that tomorrow there will be four days left till Christmas. This man's name is Diet Maros. That means Father Frost. He lives in Russia and he brings children their Christmas presents. There are places in the world where Santa has a different name. Where different languages are heard, where Christmas is not the same. For Christmas in Denmark, Eula Munden brings surprises. He plays tricks and wears disguises. Children leave him milk and dishes. They'll ask him to grant their wishes. There are places in the world where Santa has a different name. Where different languages are heard. Where Christmas is not the same. Where Christmas is not the Good night, my love. Hello, how are you? Leo, Caillou's here. Hi, Caillou. Come on up. What you doing? I'm making my parents a card for Hanukkah. Do you want to make something for your parents? Okay. Can I use this too? Sure. Caillou thought he would make something for Rosie as well. So Leo and Caillou got to work on making cards and gifts. Who's the snowman for? Rosie. You have paint on your nose. So do you. <laughs> Leo! Caillou! Just a second! Quick! I have to hide my mom's card! What are you two up to? <laughs> nothing, Mom. <laughs> yeah, nothing! I see. Well, since you're doing nothing, why don't you two wash up and go outside to play? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to play hockey? I have an extra pair of skates. Yes! Whoa, whoa. Pass it over, Leo. Here it comes. Whoa, whoa. You okay? Uh-huh. <gasps> <laughs> Caillou, Leo, how about some hot chocolate? Yeah! Mmm, I love hot chocolate. What's that? It's a menorah. During Hanukkah, we light one candle every night. 
It's called the Festival of Lights, and it lasts eight days. And we play dreidel. What's a dreidel? I'll show you. It's like a top. You spin the dreidel, and you see on which sign it lands. I'll go first. Shin. That means you have to put a raisin in. Aww! Your turn, Caillou. Give it a big spin! Gimel! Good for you, Caillou! You won all the raisins in the pot. <laughs> <laughs> when Caillou went home, he made sure to hide the cards and the snowman. Caillou! Shh! I have to hide my presents. Woozy have presents too. Shh! Christmas presents should be a surprise, Rosie. So don't tell anyone, okay? Hey, you two. Presents! Shh! Later that night, Caillou was very curious about Rosie's presents. Rosie, are you awake? Caillou! Shh! Caillou didn't want Mommy or Daddy to hear. Gilbert! What did you get me for Christmas, Rosie? Uh-uh. Pleasant supplies. Caillou said so. I know, but if you tell me yours, I'll tell you mine. Ahem. <gasps> Christmas presents are a surprise, right, Caillou? <laughs> right, Daddy. <laughs> Come on, then. Bedtime. Can you tuck me in? Okay. <laughs> Time to sleep, Princess. Night, Daddy. Night, Caillou. Mommy, would you sing me your Santa song again? Please? Okay, sweetheart. Come on. One, two, three, four. So tomorrow, there will be three days left until Christmas. Go ahead and open the next window. There are places in the world where Santa has a different name. Where different languages are heard, where Christmas is not the same. For Christmas in Greece, Santas are called Kielantso Roy. They are elves who burst with joy. They laugh and play, are full of fun, and down the chimney, here they come. <laughs> there are places in the world where Santa has a different name. Where different languages are heard, where Christmas is not the same. Where Christmas is not the Could you give your grandma a hand and take this for me? What is it? Christmas presents for you and Rosie. Could you put them under the tree for me, please? Sure. Oh, wait, Caillou. I almost forgot. I have a present for Gilbert, too. What a lovely Christmas tree. I picked it myself, and Rosie helped me decorate it. Well, you did a magnificent job. It looks even better with presents under it. Grandma! Hi, sweetie. Grandma's gonna stay with you, Caillou, while we go out shopping. Yay! Me too! Whoa, Gilbert! Here, let me help you with that. What do you say we make an extra large batch of Christmas cookies? and share them with my friends at the retirement home. I know all about sharing, Grandma. Great, then let's get started. At Christmas time, the family's near. Our hearts are filled with Yuletide cheer. We share our gifts, but the best part, we share the feelings in our heart. Christmas is a time to share all that we do. Christmas is a time to care for others too. 
Let's share our gifts with everyone. The young, the old, cause sharing's fun. Share the things that we hold dear with friends and family far and near. We share our joy. We share a toy. We share a tickle. We share a we share a pickle. We share a hug. We uh we sh we share a bug. We share our time. We share a rhyme. We share our cookies. <laughs> yes, we share our cookies. Christmas is a time to share all that we do. Christmas is a time to care. For others too, a time to care for others too. Look, Grandma, I made a snowman. This is fun. I'll add some raisins. Good idea. Wow, they're perfect. I think this batch is ready for the oven. Hello, everyone. Merry Christmas. Everyone was very happy to see Grandma and Caillou again. Cookie, I baked them myself. Mmm, delicious. Thank you, Caillou. You're welcome. Caillou was very proud of his cookies, and he was happy that everyone liked them. Thank you, young man. Don't mind if I do. And what are you asking Santa for this year? A space station. Ah, excellent choice. And excellent cookies. These are wonderful, Caillou. Now that you're here sharing your cookies with me, my Christmas just got a whole lot better. Spending the afternoon with Grandma's friends was like having a whole bunch of grandmas and grandpas to play with. Grandma and Caillou decided to play a game of Go Fish while waiting for Mommy, Daddy, and Rosie to come home. Hmm, do you have a tree? Go fish! A tree! I get another turn! Do you have a dog? Yay! I'll get it. Woof, woof, woof! <laughs> come back, Gilbert! It's not a real dog. That was Sarah's mom. Did Sarah give you an invitation to her school play? Oops, I forgot. Yeah. Here it is. It's tomorrow at three o'clock. So, did you have fun with Grandma today? Uh-huh, I even won at Go Fish. Good for you. Let's see how many windows are left. One, two, three. A Christmas stocking, just like mine. And Santa's going to fill it with candy. Right, Daddy? <laughs> I'm sure he will. But do you know how that tradition started? Boys and girls all over the world used to leave something for Santa in their shoes. In France, children place their shoes by the fireplace. And in Holland, where Santa Claus is called Sinterklaas, children leave hay and a carrot in their shoes for Sinterklaas's horse to eat. In Hungary, children shine their shoes before putting them near a windowsill. In Italy, there is a woman called La Befana who arrives at Christmas time like Santa Claus. And children leave food for her in their shoes outside their front door. And in Puerto Rico, children put vegetables under their beds for the camels of the Three Kings. I'm going to leave something for Santa too, Daddy. But I won't put it in my shoes, okay? Okay, Caillou. Sweet dreams. And Caillou had very sweet dreams. Sarah's Christmas play is today. Can we go, Mommy? Please, please, please. I don't see why not. What time does it start? Grandma said at 3 o'clock. Fine, but there's something really important to do first. What? The Christmas lights outside. So you'd better get dressed and come and help me. Grandpa's coming over to help too. Caillou couldn't wait to help Daddy and Grandpa with the lights. 
He felt like a very big boy. Hello! Here's your extra pair of hands. Right on time. Grandpa! Are you ready to set up some lights, Caillou? We need lots and lots of lights. Meanwhile, Rosie was busy too. She was making sure her presents were ready for Christmas. Caillou? Daddy? Mommy? Gilbert? No, Gilbert. Present supplies. There! Good job, Caillou. It looks great. That about does it. Caillou was very proud of having done such a great job. He couldn't wait to see the lights all lit up. Good job, you two. Caillou, we have to get going. Sarah's play starts soon and we don't want to be late. But when Caillou and his family arrived at the school, there was no one else in the audience. I think we're early. It's exactly three. Not according to the school clock. It says two. Maybe you should ask Santa for a new watch. All right, everybody. Let's begin the rehearsal. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Caillou. I'm sad because Christmas is coming and... Where's Jimmy? Jimmy, that's your cue to come on stage. He's thick, Miss Johnson. Oh, dear. Well, then, we need to find someone to replace him. Why don't you ask Caillou? He's right over there. Hello, Caillou. It's nice to see you again. Would you like to be in our play? That sounds like a lot of fun, Caillou. Caillou was nervous. Why don't you come on stage and give it a try? Sarah will be with you the whole time. <laughs> Caillou! It's easy, Caillou. When I say, I'm sad because Christmas is coming, you say, and there is no snow. Exactly. And you say it nice and loud. Okay. Go ahead, Sarah. I'm sad because Christmas is coming. And there's no snow. Very good, Caillou. Could you say it a little louder this time so your mommy and daddy can hear you? And there's no snow. That was great, Caillou. Excellent. Caillou was happy he had said his line right. <laughs> he was very proud. And then you and Sarah go off stage. And at the end of the play, you come back on stage with Sarah again. Then Sarah says, Hooray, it's snowing. And Caillou, you say, it's Christmas time. Nice and loud with a big smile, okay? Want to try it? It's Christmas time! You're a natural, Caillou. Caillou liked being in Sarah's play. He felt all grown up. When the play was about to start, Caillou was feeling nervous again. Don't worry, I'll hold your hand. You'll do fine. Ready? Say all your lines nice and loud, everybody. Good luck. Thank you, everyone. We have a last-minute replacement this afternoon. Let's have a big round of applause for Caillou. But when Caillou heard his name, it made him even more nervous. Sarah, I forget what to say. You say, and there is no snow. Oh, yeah. Come on, we have to go on stage now. Now? Yes, come on, you can do it. I'm sad because Christmas is coming. Caillou, and there is no snow. And there is? Louder. And there is no snow. You did great. Thanks. Where is all the snow this year? Yes, where? Santa needs snow for his sleigh. Go ask... Uh, old Man Winter. Old Man Winter. Okay, I will go. Old Man Winter, Santa needs snow. 
Okay, I'll huff and puff and make it snow. Snowflakes were snowflakes, here comes the snow. Snowflakes were snowflakes for winter's big show. Snowflakes were snowflakes for fluttering down. Snowflakes were snowflakes down to the ground. Now I can bring my presents. Hooray, it's snowing. It's Christmas time. Only two windows left, Daddy. That means tomorrow is Christmas Eve. Wow, Christmas is really, really soon. It looks like Christmas dinner, Daddy. It is. Many people around the world celebrate Christmas with a special Christmas meal. In Spain, they eat besugo, which is fish. And in Norway, they eat roast goose. And there's cheese pancakes in Austria. And plum pudding in England. And in France, on Christmas Eve, which is called Réveillon, they have a special cake called a bouche de Noël, which is filled with chestnut cream. Daddy? Yes, Caillou? I'm hungry. <laughs> Daddy, Gilbert, today is Christmas Eve. Santa's coming tonight. Come on, we have lots to do. Good morning, Caillou. Morning. Um, <laughs> Caillou, cookies for breakfast? They're not for me, Mommy. <laughs> Santa's coming tonight. I'm going to leave him some cookies. Is Santa coming down the chimney? Like he always does. Then we should clean out the fireplace. I don't want Santa to get dirty. Good thinking, Caillou. <laughs> oh, that must be Grandma and Grandpa. Grandma, Grandpa, Santa's coming tonight. Yes, he is. But only when you'll be sound asleep, right? And the best way to go to sleep is on a full tummy. So I guess we better get cooking if we're having turkey tonight. And apple pie. Right, Grandma? Absolutely. Are you going to be my little helper again? Yes. It was a busy scene in the kitchen with preparations for Christmas Eve dinner going on everywhere. Okay, Caillou. I need help making the turkey stuffing. Now, here's a spoon. Now, mix it all up. Well, the pie's ready to bake. And so is the turkey. Stuffing's ready, too. Yay! You finally found your toothbrush. No, I still can't figure out where the other one disappeared to. Same place my slippers did, I guess. Let me help you, sweetheart. Why do we have to get dressed up? Grandma and Grandpa come over all the time. Because it's Christmas Eve dinner, silly. It's a special night. There, now you look perfect. <laughs> the meal was wonderful. Caillou was so full, he thought his tummy would burst. I bet you've never seen anyone do the famous thumb trick before. Dun, 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 dun. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting Grandpa's famous missing thumb trick. Abra, Cadabra. Wow. <laughs> How'd you do that, Grandpa? A magician isn't supposed to reveal his tricks. Oh. I have a joke. Go for it. Knock, knock. Who's there? Isidore. Isidore who? Is a doorbell ringing, Grandpa? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one, Caillou. And now for my famous Christmas apple pie. Even better than Grandpa's famous turkey stuffing. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. 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 Christmas.
going to wait up all night to see Santa. But Santa won't come if you're awake. Aww. Do you want to see what's behind the big Christmas Eve window? Yeah! yeah. Santa! He's on his way! Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief, and I in my cap, had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters, and threw up the sash. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. No, Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my hand and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk. And laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim ere he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Sweet dreams, Caillou. He was excited to see all the presents, and he noticed that Santa had eaten all his cookies. Presents! Mommy, Mommy! Santa ate all my cookies! I see! Can I give my presents first? Please? Please? All right, your presents first. Here, Mommy. Here, Daddy. Thank you, sweetheart. When did you make these? It was a surprise. I made them at Leo's house. And the wrapping is so beautiful. Open it! Oh, what a beautiful picture! It's you, Mommy. And is this a picture of me? Yes. Thank you. It's wonderful. And this is for you, Rosie. Rosie Pleasant? Snowman! Do you like it? Yeah! I think Santa brought this one for you. Just what I wanted! Now, Rosie presents. How nice! Thank you! Thank you, Rosie. Well, look at this. Your missing slippers. Oops. And your electric toothbrush. Here, Here you go. go. Can you present? Rexy! Here you are! You weren't lost at all! Now I get it. Rosie wanted to give us presents we love. Yeah! Can you love Rexy? You two did a very good job at keeping your presents a surprise. And I think Rosie just started our very own family tradition. Caillou learned a lot about traditions from all the calendar stories, right, Caillou? Uh-huh. I learned about the first Christmas tree and where Christmas cards came from. And St. Nick. He taught us that giving and sharing are important, right? Right. Gilbert, no! What is it, Rosie? Gilbert present. Merry Christmas, Gilbert. Here, Daddy, it's from Santa. <laughs> Just what I needed. It's Christmas morning and it's snowy winter weather. It's Christmas morning and our family's together. <laughs> We need 
Christmas morning and it's snowy winter weather. It's Christmas morning and our 